Hello, my name is John Sauls. I work with Vision ICS. I'm an engineer and uh, one of the things that I believe us engineers tend to do a, a bad job of is explaining to our bosses and other people what we're doing and really uh, justify the things that we do. Uh, we tend to use terms like uh, I've increased the speed of a processor or I was able to uh, increase my production speed or I was able to uh, uh, reduce my line from five operators to four operators and and those are all very good numbers but I don't really think that that they explain to our bosses what we do and I think what really helps out is if you really do a quick ROI study and you can explain the numbers and, and explain them to your boss and and really explain your job in terms of dollars how much did I make my company this year um, so this is a spreadsheet that I put together. Uh, it's really for my industry, which is the machine vision industry. Uh, essentially what I do is I take a, a camera that's hooked up to a computer, put it on a manufacturing line, and uh, determine if products are good or bad. So obviously this is aimed for my industry, but I think it's something you can modify pretty quickly to yours. Um, so let's just say for right now I'm doing a canning plant. Um, this is a fairly typical canning plant. It does 1,200 cans a minute. Uh, times 60 minutes, uh, which tells me I have 72,000 cans per hour. Uh, I'm running two shifts, so we're going to do 16 hours a day, and we run six days a week. Um, and then my cost per product, this is a, a can of green beans or something, it may be uh, 90 cents a can. So on that production line, we're making $64,800 of product an hour. Um, when you're talking about our current inspection method this is a, usually a human being that's standing there staring at the line trying to determine if uh, if the cans have the right label if it, the label is put on correctly and you can imagine 1200 cans a minute this would be really hard to do but um, but this person is is making fifteen dollars an hour or costs us fifteen dollars an hour um, so when we multiply that all out it works out to seventy six thousand three hundred and twenty dollars a year um, which, you know, if we were able to reduce that person, that's not insignificant. But I think you'll see when we get done with and get the next couple filled in, um, it works out to a very small percentage of the overall savings. Um, even if we don't get rid of that person, it works out to a small number. Um, so if we look at the percentage of scrap that we're, we're creating, this line may, may make, uh, say, 2% scrap. Um, the thing about canning lines, you're typically not going to get one bad one, you're going to get 100 because it does it so quickly. Um, so if we look at our, our reject rates, um, I'm using the 15% rule of thumb uh, for both of these, the false reject and the false accept rate. Uh, this is based on studies that have been done that, that indicate human beings are about 85% visually efficient. So if we're looking at a can coming down the line, uh, we'll say a slower line, our chances are about 85% that we're going to catch a good, a bad product if it comes down the line. It also means that when we grab things um, off the line, 15% of the time, it's bad. It, it, uh, we say it's bad, but it's actually a good product that should be making it to the customer. So, th so there's a cost for that as well. And you can see that I filled in the rest of the sheet, so ignore those numbers for right now. Uh, <laughs> If we look at the uh, next rule of thumb, uh, it's a 110-100 rule of thumb. This is basically saying if we catch product in the line that's bad, um, it costs us a buck. If we catch it before it leaves the plant, it costs us $10 in terms of rework and extra handling and you know those types of costs. Um, and if it reaches our customer, it costs 100 times the value of the product. Um, and this rule of thumb, the, the 100 is kind of the variable one usually. Um, for some industries, if you get bad product to your customer, you know, if I got a, a can of green beans that had the wrong label on it, it probably wouldn't bother me a whole lot. Um, but if uh, I had a medical device that I, or, or a medical product that I got the wrong pills in, or if I got the wrong, um, uh, if I was allergic to, to nuts and I got the green beans with nuts in it, this could actually wind up in a lawsuit. So it really varies from industry to industry. But I'm using the 110-100 rule. Um, you can just fill in the numbers here. This one here is just 100 times the, the percentages, the, the variable. So if I my industry is 1,000, I would change it to 1,000. But when you get down here to the bottom line, you can see our, our bottom line number is $3.2 million. Now, I think if you go to your boss and you say, hey, boss, I was able to reduce our production scrap by 2%, he'd be very pleased. If you tell him that and can show him that we've saved 3.2 million dollars in terms of our 
uh, brand image, our customer um, appreciation of our product, uh, actual lost product, lost material. And these numbers, are, you know, you're probably not going to save 100% of the reject, but even if you say, I was able to reduce it by just 1%, um, I saved the company $1.6 million this year. Uh, and I'm going to save that much every year from this point forward based on the automation that I did. Um, I, I think clearly your boss is going to probably appreciate that number a little bit more. Uh, this is also a really good tool, I think, for justifying the ROI on projects ahead of time. If you can say, um, you know, I believe that I can save 1% of my production or make my machine 1% more efficient and, and make this mo extra money, working it through in a spreadsheet like this can really be beneficial. Uh, so if you'd like to use this spreadsheet, please be free to visit our website, www.vision-ics.com, and download it. Certainly you can start from scratch in an Excel spreadsheet and do the same thing, uh, or you can start with our template and, and modify it for your needs. Uh, if you see anything that you think should be improved on it, please feel free to email me, and uh, I will take all uh, suggestions and try to incorporate them. Thank you very much.